Hey guys, welcome to Desk Jockey Physio, where we help active desk folks feel and move better. My name is Mitch Starkman. I'm an f camped registered physiotherapist and sports medicine clinic owner here in Toronto. Thanks for stopping by. Hey everyone, two quick updates before we jump into today's video. Number one, we have a free giveaway today. If you head over to deskjockeyphysio.com slash guide, you can download your five-step guide of how to set up the perfect laptop home office, which you can do right here, okay? And number two, we are now offering online physiotherapy sessions for you folks out there. To learn more about that, head over to deskjockeyphysio.com slash online, and we'll see you there. All right, otherwise, enjoy the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, welcome to part three of our snapping knee series. So if you haven't gone back and watched part one and two, make sure you do that. Part one, the original actually, we did a long time ago and just had so many questions that we sort of re-upped it from there. But part one talks about some exercises you can do to manage this on your own. Part two actually goes over the anatomy, what causes it and kind of how to fix it um, in part one. And then part three today, we're gonna to talk about how to manage this thing in your workouts, in your day to day to kind of get it where you want it to be. If you do need a little bit more help on this, we have gone ahead and created an actual online program because we've had so many questions and people go through this. Um, and so we have three options for that. The first option is sort of a do-it-yourself, really inexpensive option for folks. The second has some live feedback. And then the third actually involves a consult. And most people are kind of doing well with, with any one of those depending on their learning style and what they need. So that video, I'll put the link below for that as well. But otherwise, let's get to how to manage this thing um, and kind of get you back to doing what you want to do. All right, guys, so let's talk about how to manage a snapping knee, okay? So if you're talking about a grinding knee, we have another video on that, check that out. But if we're talking about snapping knees, here's the deal, okay? So depending on what type of movement or exercise you're trying to do, you wanna go ahead and work on level one or level two or part one or part two of this where we're sort of fixing the problem, right? Today we're talking about how to work around the problem and keep changing things. So the question I always get is, hey Mitch, my knee is snapping, but it's not painful, can I keep squatting? Can I keep running? Can I keep doing these things? And my answer to that is no. Is it detrimental immediately? No. Over time, will it create problems? Yes. So what we want to do is create strategies or modifications that we can do to allow us to do what we want to do, but then work on your problem set, which is either doing part one of this video or our online program or something of that sort to work through those issues. But today we're talking about how to manage this. So if we are talking about specifically the squat and the snap, there are two things that we're gonna to work to modify today, okay? Part one or number one of this is our foot width or position. So if I go ahead and I drop down into my squat position here, and I come down, 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 and boom, I feel the snap happen here, right, at that level. What I can then do is I can change my foot position. I can move my feet wider and I can try my squat there. I can go ahead and put them narrower, although narrower often makes the snap worse. Or alternatively, I can change the variation of my foot. So rather than being here in this sort of narrow or kind of hip width position, and I get a snap, I can go ahead and rotate those feet out, drop down and come down again. If you want specific coaching on how to do a proper squat and technique, we do have a whole series on our squat series in our playlists. However, you know, the, sometimes you have to work with your anatomy while you work through your problem set. So variation number one is changing your foot width position. That works for a lunge, that works for squats, that works for single leg squats. A lot of exercises you can just change your foot position on the ground and width. That's number one. Number two is gonna be our depth. So if I go ahead and I come down, boom, 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 and it snaps here. Or alternatively, if I come down and it doesn't snap, for a lot of folks it doesn't snap till I get to parallel, and then I drop down below plane. So if I can just go and load up my position before the snap happens, boom, I can load this all day long. So option two is go ahead and do your squat, right? Do your lunge but modify your depth so that you are not going below the point where you get the click. So if you get the click at, 40, at 90 degrees, you're gonna go up here to about 80. If you get it at 45 degrees, you're gonna come to 40 and load it. And then as you work on your exercises, do our online program, whatever it might be, now you can go from 45 to 50. You're gonna squat at 50. Then you can go 50 to 60 and drop your range further down. By the way, if you haven't already, please go down and smash that like button. That helps us out quite a bit. Um, but just to review those two modifications here for a snapping knee, number one, the foot position and 
our foot angle. Number two is our depth, modifying that so that you can get the load and work you want without going into and recurring that snapping issue. If you have any questions about that, guys, please go ahead and leave those comments below. I do my best to manage and modify on those programming down there. If you haven't already, please like that, like us, subscribe, share with anyone you think this might help. And if we can help any more, you can check out any of the links in our description as well for other videos, programs, that sort of thing. Stay healthy, stay awesome, and move like you mean it. Thanks a lot.